Hi, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've recorded and uploaded videos to my YouTube channel. A lot has been going on in my personal life. All good things, of course. But I'm starting to get into the groove of things, starting to get back on like a daily schedule. So I'm hoping to start filming a lot more videos for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, today's video is going to be things that I've been loving with my son. Stuff that really made our lives easier since he was born to now. He is 10 months old. So a lot of things that um, has helped our family transition into being a family of three that we have absolutely loved. Things that he likes a lot. Things that have made it way easy for us to function everyday life. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Anything that I'm going to show you, I'm going to try. I think I can. I have links for everything down below in the description box. So if you guys are interested in any of it, looking it up. It's all Amazon links just because I feel Amazon is worldwide. So it's really easy for anybody to get what it is that they're looking for instead of doing individual stores because some stores might not be where you are or might not ship to your location, whereas Amazon pretty much ships everywhere. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. This is the first thing I want to talk about. It's called the Fisher Price Sit Me Up Floor Seat. This thing saved our lives uh, multiple times. My son liked to be around us. He didn't really like to be alone in a room, which is pretty, you know, normal, I would say. And I didn't want him to be alone in a room either. So we did some research and this is what we found. It is amazing for the price. It is unbelievable. We loved this thing. It is super easy to clean. It's super easy to travel with. We would take it with us when we would go to friends' houses or to um, like my in-laws' house. We would take this with us just because it folds up easy and somewhere where he's really comfortable in. And he really enjoyed being in this seat. This seat has multiple functions. One, it lets them see the world around them. Then it also helps them with their fine motor skills. These little... The little butterfly and flower, um, the little flowers of teeth and the butterfly has just different textures and stuff for them to play with. The fact that they have to reach for it and pull it up helps with their fine motor skills. And you can also link other toys to it that they really enjoy. So that was really nice. The fabric is super easy to clean. My son had many blowouts in this thing and there is not one stain on it. You can take it apart and put it in the washing machine and then put it back on. It is super easy to deal with, super easy to clean. Um, I would suggest using this when your baby has 100% head like control. If they're still a little wobbly, I would, you know, playing, playing it by ear, obviously. But another function that this seat really does is helps them with um, learning how to sit on their own. It is supported, but it also helps them um, figure out the position that they're supposed to be in and their body. There's different animals that you can get. There's one that's like a little um, monkey. There's a lion. There's a different color froggy. And there's also like a flowery one for a girl. They're all basically the same thing. I would highly suggest this. This thing is amazing. I'm going to show you right now how it looks when it is completely down. And that's it. It is super thin. Really easy to move around with. It's super light. There's no... Um, tricks to it. It's very simple and it props right back up. So this is one of my all-time favorite things and it's like I said for the price you can't really go wrong and I the second thing that we really enjoyed and really liked and made everything easier was the boppy baby chair. This is the elephant walks in gray but they also have different colors of these. This one was around $45 and just like the boppy, this was like the next one that we used afterwards. I would feed him in here. He would hang out on this. I would put him on the dining room table and he would just play and be fine and um, have treats on it because it does have a tray. The tray is removable. And it just... And it comes right off and it can be a booster seat. It has um, where you can tie, you know, lock them in and kind of harness them in there super easy to clean also we never had an issue with it um he used that from about seven to eight months to very recently we took him out of this probably he uses for about two to three months 
but it just depends on the on your baby. This was the next thing after the froggy sit me up that we used. And this is where I started feeding him um, and letting him use like start using like the pincher to practice with picking up little pieces of food here and there just to work obviously work with his fine motor skills. Um, I like this one better than the little, um, it's not plastic, well I guess it would be plastic, but it was the, the normal one that you see everywhere, because those, this one has a lot bigger space for his thighs, especially if you have a chunky baby. The other one, my son's not very, um, chunky, he's pretty, he's very slim, and the other ones were tight on him, so I can only imagine if you have a baby that's a little chunky or has bigger thighs. They would not be able to fit in those and they're not be comfortable with this it has a higher back also so it would help support him more when he was first learning how to sit up um that helped him out a lot the other ones i felt like are a lot lower and this one had more thigh room he was able to sit in here for a long time i started using this one along with the sit me up like intertwine depending on the day or you know how he was feeling like I said, it's super easy. The tray clicks back on super easy. And you're good to go. It's also not that bad if you want to travel with it. If you're going to be somewhere at a family's house for an occasion, it's not not that big to travel with. So The next thing that I want to talk about is the Bobby Nursing Pillow and Positioner. Um, this, I, I nursed. And this helped a lot with um, putting him in a certain position. There would be times where my son would nurse for a long period of time. And to have to hold him up would really put a lot of strain on my arm. With this, I just sat him down into it. It, it helped um, prop up my arm to hold him. It um, made it a lot easier in my opinion. I know some people are kind of iffy about it. And they just believe that you should be able to carry them. And that's fine. I understand 100%. But if you can get something that makes it a little bit easier, why not try? Especially if you're a new mom and you've never done it before. It could be kind of challenging. But this one, um, I mean, you can get them anywhere, obviously. But these are amazing. You can get them different patterns for, like, the covers on them. You can change them out. Uh, super easy to clean. It has a zipper right there. And you just unzip it, take it out, and you can put it in the wash, you can put it in the dryer. Both pieces of the pillow, I would not suggest drying it just because it could clump up. But if you just air dry it, it works fine. And even to this day, my son is 10 months old, like I had said earlier. And I still use this. I can put it in his crib because he's feeding himself now. He's able to hold the bottle himself. So I just put it in his crib, like if I'm working in his room or whatever, like he has to, I want him to practice do it on his own. So I just put this in his crib and I set, set him in there, prop him up in the middle of it, give him a bottle and he eats by himself and just hangs out there. Um, and like I said, I've been using that since the day he was born. I took that to the hospital with me. So it's worth it's forty dollars around forty dollars depending on which one you get but i believe it's worth it i mean 10 months in i'm still using it so it really does help out a lot and it makes things a lot easier with this too you can sit them in there to kind of give them some more control you can do tummy time with them on that you prop them up to kind of help them with their head control also i mean there's a lot of different functions that you can do with it the next thing is this little lunchbox. It's called the Hip Hop Baby Zoo Little Kid and Toddler Insulated and Water Resistant Lunchbox. Whew, that's a mouthful. But this little lunchbox is also it's something awesome that makes it a lot easier, especially when we are leaving the house. I pack his bottle in there with his food, spoons, um, treats and snacks that he gets throughout the day, um, his little formula container. Everything goes in there and it's just keeps stuff separate from his actual diaper bag just because I have a smaller size diaper bag so this is just something easier that I can just stick underneath his stroller and it's out of the way and if we're out to dinner I can just take this out and put it on the table instead of having to dig through the diaper bag and put it on the it's just way easier to keep everything separate for me this one 
is $14, $15, and they come in a bunch of different um, patterns. They have a monkey, they have an owl, they have a ladybug, they have a chameleons. I mean, they have a porcupine, hedgehog, they have a bunch of different things, so whatever it is you're looking for, they can have it. Um, they do have matching backpacks, which we just ordered, actually, um, online. And they have, you know, little thermos and food containers, like lunch, to put in their lunch and everything. So everything matches, and it's super cute. The inside is also really easy to clean. There, I've been using it since my son started eating when he was around, like, solid foods, so since he was about five months old. And I haven't had any problems with it. Things wipe right off super easy. There's a little tag on the inside that you can put their names so and this has gone everywhere with us and it's still in really good shape the fabric doesn't stain it's really easy to clean like I said another thing that we've been loving in the bathtub is the honest company uh, shampoo and body swash this stuff is awesome the company does amazing things um, I also like their diapers but I don't really use them that much um, but the soap religiously, I've been using it since he was born. I haven't used anything else on him. They have two different kinds. They have the original kind, which I'm not sure what the flavor is because it just says the Honest Company Shampoo and Body Wash. But this one is the sweet uh, sweet orange vanilla one. And they, they're both amazing. It just depends on what kind of mood I'm in, which one I buy. But they do sell the, the two-pack for $17, $18. It's awesome I've washed my son's hair with it and then literally like just poured water over his head and it goes straight into his face it's never irritated his eyes he's never cried for it it's really smooth on their body it makes them feel super clean it smells delicious both of them do I recommend both of them and like I said it's $17 and you get two 17 ounce containers of it the next thing that was a lifesaver were these little baby washcloths. I used them from the day he was born also to now. These, as you can tell, we have a lot of them because my son went through a spitting up phase. Every time he would eat, he would spit up. So I had these in my car, in the changing, like in his room, in the living room, um, obviously in the diaper bag and the stroller, everywhere. These things were all over the place. And... They're just easier than a bib. They're smaller than bibs. They're easier to like stuff into like pockets or in little corners of stuff. But these are amazing. They're not that big. They're relatively thin. But they serve their purpose. My son would spit up or, you know, he, when he's teething, he tends to have a lot of, you know, slobber. So these are awesome to clean and wipe his mouth with. When he's eating, we can wipe his mouth with them. They don't stain. As far as I know, I mean, I, I I wash clothes all the time, so I guess maybe the food doesn't have enough time to stick. But I use these all the time. I give them baths with these now, too, but since he was little, pretty much. Um, so they serve a multiple purpose, and they're relatively cheap. You can get a pack of 10 for 7 bucks. This is the Bloom Lawn Countertop Drying Rack, and this is for... Anything baby, you want? I wanted to keep everything separate from you know our things, me and my husband's things, and my son's things when he was really, really young, especially. So whenever we washed his bottles, um, we would put them on here. So that is just for the mat. You can get the mat by itself and just put everything on top. But we also got the little flower, which we put um, his pacifiers on. And any nipple we could just um, attach to right there and it would just hang them all easier instead of having them on on the mat and it saved room too for bottles because the bottles are obviously bigger then we also got the sponge holder just because I wanted to, him to have his own sponge so it's um, there's a space for the sponge on the side there and then we also got the little tree branch and that was also just to hang things off of spoons and stuff like that that we used for him. Any extra nipples that wouldn't fit on the little flower, we would put over there. Pretty much anything that needed to be hung, we hung it there. So these come individually or you can get them in a set. Um, they're relatively cheap. The little pieces are between 2 and $4. And the mat now comes in white instead of green, so the green 
grass looking one would be white instead of green so you have that option too um, there's sometimes that you can find them with sets online I did them individually each thing individually down in the description bar but if you find things something that's a, a bundle obviously that's probably gonna be a better deal but this is also super easy to clean you can just take these off and put them in the dishwasher and wash them individually and then this the little grass mat just comes off and then you can clean the grass mat and the base of it and both everything is dishwasher safe I've used them in the dishwasher to disinfect it but and these are you know you can move them around depending on what you're putting on there how much space you need so that's also um, something that I found made it a lot easier for us at home the next things that we love both myself and my son are these blankets they're kind of they're, well they're not kind of they are swaddle blankets they come in sets of twos you can buy them individually or in sets of fours these are just three we have like ten of them my son loves them we have them in the diaper bag we have them in both cars he snaps with them we don't let him sleep at, like at night with them just because it's I'm scared it's kind of like a hazard I guess but he falls he does fall falls asleep with them but we after like an hour or something of him being asleep we usually take it away before we go to bed just because just to be safe but he loves these they're huge um when they're babies you can swaddle them in it when they're toddlers they can obviously use them as blankets they're really thin and but they are really warm so um they're like amazing we love them if you hear him in the background he woke up from his nap that's why I had to relocate to his room and I was losing lighting in my room so anyway but these are amazing they come in different patterns different colors um, solids they have white ones with um, little designs on them we have some with like little animal prints on them we have solid white ones we have all blue ones like checkerboard whatever it is you want they have them in this color now we'll have links to some of the ones that we have down below for you the next thing is the iBaby monitor. This thing is amazing. I believe it was rated top 10 for 2016 baby monitors. I'm not 100% sure. The prices range anywhere from 170 to 130. Um, it's an app. You can look it up on your phone or Android. They have it for Android too, I guess. Now I just I was just doing reading about it a little bit more, but. Um, it is a um, iBaby camera obviously and it night mode and day mode so depending on the lighting it will be either day or night it has really good sound um, you could see mine's fairly far away from my son's crib but we can still hear him perfectly if he wakes up or if he makes any kind of noise we can talk back to him you can play music if you're at work and somebody's home with a baby or you have a nanny or what however the situation is um, you can log on from your job on your phone and see the baby sleeping or in the crib or the room around it you can hear anything that's going on this mount comes separate and I believe it's $25 and I have the link for that down below too and that just mounts onto the wall and just makes it easier when he was a baby obviously we had it just sitting right here on the side of the crib but as he grew up and started standing up and reaching for things we had to move to the next step which was the um the base mounter but like i said this one is really good we haven't had any issues with it it has its own wi-fi so if you lose wi-fi in the house the camera won't shut off you can put it on ipads that's how i watch him at night we have we have an ipad set up that monitors him all night um, and it's awesome I really haven't had any issues with it it moves you can move it around on your phone I will show you guys a little clip of it here so this is a monitor on the day mode obviously he's taking his afternoon nap right now but the camera has a few functions it has a um, like a speaker where you can listen to them when they're in their rooms um, a speaker where you can talk to them 
you can take photos, you can record, and you can play music. I haven't really used these two functions. I haven't really felt the need to. But I have taken pictures of him while he sleeps if he's like in an awkward position or doing something funny. I have talked to him through here. And obviously we listen for him at night. But the really cool thing about the camera is I'm using it on my iPad mini. But it, if you want to put it in their rooms and watch what they're doing... You can literally, it can literally go all the way around. And like I showed you guys previously, it's up on the wall, mounted on the wall. So I can pretty much see his whole room in here if I needed to. If he, if maybe you have a toddler who's walking in there in a, in a big boy bed, big girl bed, um, then you can actually see if they get up from their bed. So I really like this. It, I've never had an issue with it, like I said. And it's just one of the best things that we have for him. Another thing that my son really enjoys is the Dr. Brown pacifiers, and they come in different stages, but this is basically it, and I don't know why, but I think he likes the, the actual like nipple part of it, and it has that little swirly thing on it, but they come obviously in different um, sizes depending on their age, um, but, oh, sorry, my son climbed on me. <laughs> But this is the pacifier that he really enjoys. We tried giving him the soothy ones that a lot of people try and he really did not seem to like them. But he didn't start actually liking pacifiers till he was about six months old. So I'm not sure if that's the reason why. And when he started teething is when he really wanted them. Um, but those are the ones that he really likes. We've tried different ones also. We've tried two different kinds. Um, this one being the third that he really seemed to enjoy. Okay, this is the next thing. This is a stroller. It's a City Mini. Um, and I also did a lot of reviews on this, or read a lot of reviews on this, and I really, really like it. The canopy part is like, has two parts. You can either do it like that, where it's just like a normal, um, you know, canopy, or you can extend it to do that. It has two things where you can see the baby and it, you can take it apart and it covers up like that and then there's another one back here that does the same thing that you can always look down at the baby see what they're doing um, it has the, the little thing underneath the compartment underneath isn't very um, big and you can't really fit a lot of things in there but like I said I put his lunchbox down there um, if I'm going out and I don't want to carry his diaper bag I can just put um, the bag that has his diapers and wipes and desitin and stuff in it with his lunchbox and I'll be ready to go I can fit you know a blanket down there if I need to um, anything like that this is additional I bought this to add to it so this doesn't come with it but I'll have a link for this down below too it just lets you I put my phone in there um, drinks you know whatever you want to hold the camera I put in here sometimes too but I'll have a link for that down below but that does not come with the actual stroller it is a three wheel technically four because in the front there's two if you can see there um, it's super easy to fold. It's super comfortable. The straps um, look like this. And then depending on, you know, this slides through here so it looks like this. And then the bottom part has a protector so it doesn't, the baby's super comfortable and you can't risk of pinching them with the, when you're connecting them to the, to the stroller. Um, there are there is this where you can hook up if you have a like an infant car carrier you can connect it on there and then it sits in there very nicely I had a Greco one and there was an adapter for it which was fine it worked perfectly never had any issues I I always make sure it was clicked on really well to it or you can buy the city mini the baby jogger one that you know obviously it's with the company but I didn't do that so there is adapters that you can put on here. There is a tray that you can put up there where they can have a cup and like things in front of them. But my son's 
still too little and if we put it on we have it but if you put it if you hook it on it kind of blocks his sight so he can't really see and he really likes to see this one folds up super easy there's a this pull here and I'll show you how to do that in a minute and I can do it by myself with one hand the stroller is super light it folds really flat so it's very convenient it has a brake obviously that works really well I have the brake on it right now and it can't go anywhere um, the back leans you can lean it back with these little you pull it down as far as you want and you can push this down all the way so that the baby can be laying down if they're taking a nap or drinking, you know, eating. And it's also mesh, so it kind of keeps them warm, especially if you live, like, I live in Florida, so it's really hot here. So that's airflow. Or you can cover it like that. And it's completely covered if it's raining or whatever. And then it goes up the same way super easy. So let me show you how it folds up. This is what it looks like folded up. Like I said, it's super easy, it's super light, and it's not that thick compared to other strollers. And I've really seemed to like this. We've had this since he was born. Um, and like I said, I just have the adapters and I'll have the adapters linked down below. But for the price and the reviews and everything that I read about this stroller, I'm really liking it. All right, the last thing I really want to show you guys is his car seat. This is the Maxi Cozy, number 70, I think, Prima 70. Um, like I said, I'll have all the links down below. But this car seat is super padded. Um, the straps are very good, too. These are super comfortable for the baby. Um, it comes with another insert, which I'll show you in a minute. But... This is an amazing car seat. I absolutely love it. This part is super cushiony. My son falls asleep in here and never is his head down, like, you know, slumped over or anything. It sits him up in a really good position. It's super thick and cozy, and he loves it. We have one in each car, and this is definitely something that I recommend, and it's definitely worth the money. I know you can find cheaper ones out there, but I've felt the cheaper ones. I've seen them and they are not built this way. They are not as cushiony. Um, I don't feel the, um, like the, you know, the actual like frame of the car seat, if that makes sense. But this is amazing. It's well worth the money in my opinion. We have two, one in each car, like I said. They come in different colors. I just have the gray and charcoal one, but there's like a gray and brown one. There's an all red one. There's different colors and like I said, you can check them out. All the links are down below. But the insert is this. And this is just extra cushion if you have like a younger baby because this can be from zero to um, to toddler. This comes up and then if you flip it around, you know, it becomes like for older kids up to a certain weight. But this goes in here basically, if you, you know, just to get an idea like this. And it creates more cushion for smaller babies, younger babies. You can put in here with this and it also comes with this which we we don't use but it's for the buckle so that it doesn't touch the baby or you can't um pinch the baby or you know whatever i'm sorry but i'm outside and there's my neighbors are doing some construction but that's what that is so this is amazing i love it and i really hope you guys enjoyed my video please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i will talk to you guys in my next video